One of the best features of Cypress is that it bundles chai assertions, jQuery chai assertions, Synon JS, and Synon chai assertions. And in this example, I want to show you a little edge case that constantly arises and it's a little bit tricky uh, to remember, I want to say. So I always forget myself. So that's why I'm making this video so I can find it later. So imagine we have an object, greeter, and it has a method, greet, and you pass a name and it returns hello and the value of that name. And if we just call greeter greet with our argument Joe, it says hello Joe. Perfect. That works. And now we want to stop, right? We no longer want to return whatever the method does, we want to return something else. Let's say we want to stop and we have to pass the greeter object and the name of a method greet, right? And this returns a stop. So one of the things I want to do is I want to get that stop instance. And here's what I want to do. I want to say that every time someone calls the greet with a string, I want to return, let's say, hi. I don't want to look at the name. I always want to have just hi returned. So I'll say stop with args and instead of giving a particular argument i can use synon matches so i can say cypress synon match string so anytime that stub instance is called with a string i'll say returns hi let's confirm it so if we greet with joe again to equal and it should be just hi now perfect what about anything else, right? Let's say we call it with a number, let's say 42. Does it do anything? Well, no. Notice that it actually returns undefined. It doesn't call the method. It just returns undefined because we didn't say anything how the stop should behave if it's called with anything else. The easiest thing, and this is the edge case that I want to remember is how do you call the original method? for anything else but the string. So here's how you do it. You take that stub instance and you call call true method on it. Okay. And now notice it actually called the underlying method if it's not matching the string. Okay. Actually calling with a number should be invalid. So I'll say if you call it with a number, it throws new error invalid for example okay so it actually threw an error and we can confirm it by saying okay you expect calling it with a number to throw all right and if we call greeter without any arguments so it's not a string to equal hello undefined because it still calls the original method and it calls through because it doesn't match a string doesn't match a number so this is how you create a star but you allow all non-matching calls to go to the original method